Probably the biggest challenge we have is, is changing the paradigms from the past, where um, the um, pillared, structured, uh, dividing lines between different agencies, between different programs have really gotten to uh, have to be broken through in order to, to get the kind of economies and efficiencies that are necessary given the fact that we're facing things like extreme budget cuts, sequestration, whatever that might mean for any given agency. And there's plenty of opportunity, I think, to be able to increase agility by using uh, new technologies and emerging technologies that have come forward. Uh, one technology in particular um, that you may have heard of in the past, it's been around, the concept's been around for a couple of years, is that of a converged infrastructure. And um, the, the simplest analogy I can use is that rather than starting from base hardware um, and, and building upon that with storage and operating systems and application software, middleware, networking, management kinds of software, you begin from the top so that the mission-based application, the mission-based needs can be um, uh, built or provided uh, using a converged infrastructure and with IBM um, that system for us was uh, has been in the market about a year it's called pure systems and it's got a variety of, of different implementations uh, starting from um, the the base uh, infrastructure to adding a data analytics element to adding an application design element so that depending on if as an example you're a little cautious about that kind of an implementation you can at least begin sort of with a a, a, a bigger set of building blocks and then start from there so it's a very exciting concept for the customers that have deployed it they're finding some real benefits in speed to value and that i think is really a part of this whole subject of converged infrastructure and, and agility I think that the converged infrastructure that we just talked about is, is one key way. Um, it does provide um, that, that basis for moving forward. The second is one of, from and, and this is kind of on them, getting around the idea of shared services, how things can be deployed that are more agency-centric as opposed to mission-centric. And uh, obviously there are certain key missions, especially in DOD and Intel, that are very unique. But beyond that, there are all kinds of commonalities among the different agencies or departments within agencies that could be brought together for, for, for better cost savings. Uh, one other area that is really uh, critical now because of the exploding nature of uh, data is that um, we're, you hear all these crazy um, uh, statistics about how the amount of data captured you know, in one year today is equal to the full amount of data captured, you know, from the dawn of history up until, until the current time. And with both structured data as well as the tremendous volume of unstructured data that is coming from all kinds of collection sources, being able to not only collect that information um, uh, in, in a proper way uh, for security and other um, uh, needs, but also to be able to employ the proper analytics tools against it are all very critical. So from an infrastructure standpoint, we um, being able to virtualize the storage environment, be able to do compression, being able to do what we term deduplication, which is a fancy way of saying only store something once, um, are all critical for that cost takeout uh, savings that's very important to the government. And then on top of that, using uh, our tools such as our you know, big data, um, as was mentioned today during um, the, um, uh, the main tent um, remarks, um, being able to, to deploy uh, some of the tools there with our WebSphere um, offerings is really very critical to be able to do some cost takeout. I think one of the biggest challenges that we have is one of um, uh, collaboration. Um, in order for us to listen uh, thoughtfully and provide insight to our technologies to meet a mission problem, we need to understand as much as is possible from the client that is appropriate 
for what they're trying to accomplish. And I think the whole idea, uh, General McChrystal today earlier mentioned, everybody knows everything and everybody shares the mission. That's really critical to us because we, we're only as good in being able to provide, as, as industry, being able to, to, to provide our, our thoughts as to what we know about what your mission is or what your real needs are. Because if there's something, you know, sitting in the corner that we don't know about, it's, it's much harder for us to, to be able to provide a solution. Um, the other thing I think that's really essential is that um, our clients work with us with a willingness to, if you will, suspend their disbelief or their preconceived perceptions about a particular approach. Um, we talked a little bit earlier about, you know, being able to have an honest conversation with the emperor, you know, about his clothes. Um, and, and that can always happen in a very productive uh, manner. And I think it's very important, and, and many of our clients at, at executive levels have told us that, you know, uh, IBM, tell us what we don't know. You know, help us see something that we really are not focused on because we've always been operating down one road for so long. And I think that really is an, is an avenue for affecting uh, good change, you know. So, so being able to suspend your uh, thoughts about, you know, I, pick a topic, uh, consolidation, um, running multiple things with, within uh, one infrastructure, um, understanding what um, a, a particular val the particular value of a product is versus what you thought it might have been. Also, on our side, in making sure that the uh, IT team that supports our clients really is willing to learn all of the subtleties associated with a particular problem and not just say, okay, I, I you know, I, I, I got a hammer, what you have is a nail, it's, it's going to fit. And so we really need to work much better together.